All right, welcome to a Mavic tutorial. Let's have a look at waypoints and see how waypoints work. So we're out here in the Badland. Thusly named because the land is uh, not very good. Let's get an intersection to start off with. Roughly about there. Put the height up a little bit more. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so we are going to go to waypoints. Start recording waypoints. Now you want to check on that little e cog there. Now consistent with record is my favorite setting. That is going to turn the um, turn the drone to face the final direction. So every time you record a waypoint, it's basically like a keyframe. Okay, so you press record, C1. That's recorded the first waypoint. Now let's, let's head on over. So every time you record a waypoint, it's going to remember your altitude and the position. Let's head on down to this intersection over here. I'm gonna fly over the side a wee bit before I turn. So that we can kind of see the roads that we're following because that's kind of what I'm doing here. I want to kind of show you these empty roads as a way of sort of measuring the home points. That's pretty good there. Add another waypoint. We have two waypoints. I'm not changing the height too much. I'm going to um, leave it fairly just as it is until I get to the end. Okay, we don't want to go over that road there, but let's turn around. We do want to see that little intersection part there. Let's get the Mavic in position. Okay, there we go. Right, we can see our little cul-de-sac there, so record. We have three waypoints now. Now let's start bringing it up. And let's head over to this other intersection over here. So we're up to about 90 meters there. Intersection is just at the bottom of the frame there. Record a waypoint. Now let's bring it down. And we want to spin it around again to recreate our next waypoint. And let's just put it in the middle of the road here. Because we're nearly at our home point where we started. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's record that waypoint. And let's bring it forward. Record our final waypoint here. Right. We've recorded six waypoints. Now it's just time to um, get it going. So let's, let's go. Once we press done, it's gonna find that starting point and then it's gonna go through the process again. I've just pressed done, I've got return to the home altitude there, I'll put it up to about 80 meters, that's nice and high. Apply, uploading aircraft, uploading to the aircraft. Let's start recording now. So you'll see how it just turned around a little bit there, that's because it just has to go back a wee bit to where our original starting point was. And away we go. Now we know that when we got to that first intersection, I turned the drone to the right. So as it's heading down there, it's spinning to the right. And we know that when we got to our next little cul-de-sac intersection down there, I did the same thing. So there it goes, it's hit the first waypoint. And it's having to spin around to reach the second one. Now the idea behind doing your waypoints in this way is that you can get this nice smooth, you know, kind of spinning panning action as you're flying, as you're doing your waypoints. 
Right, we've got our next waypoint there. Now with this next waypoint here, we did not we did not actually uh, spin the drone around. obstacle warning there I think that a bird must have flown in front of it because there's nothing up that high you know the drone is 50 meters in the air there's nothing up that high so there must have been a bird so it's coming back down it's going to be around about 30 meters and then it's going to move forward slightly to finish off at its last waypoint well and there you go last point reached it's now hovering so of course you can set what you want it to do for you know you're at the end of your waypoints whether you want it to return to where you started or just to hover where it is i'm just going to leave it hover so there you go there's waypoints now you can adjust whether or not the drone is going to tilt or not um, there's also a freeform option and the freeform option allows you to um to control the gimbal and, and the camera and stuff uh, as you're as you're um as you're moving along but that's waypoints